Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how you can scale textures using Shader Graph in Unity. So let's jump right into it. Let's start off by trying to understand what we are trying to do here. I'll add a quad to the scene. Next, let's create a new material and add it to the quad. And then add a texture to this quad. While I can rescale the quad, I can't really scale the texture itself. So we are going to try and solve this using Shader Graph. Let's start by creating a new shader graph. We go to create shader graph URP and then let shader graph. Let's call it scale shader and double click to open the shader graph window. Right off the bat, we are going to create a float parameter for scale and drag it in. We also need another parameter for our texture. We bring it in and connect it to a sample texture 2D node. We need this because our graph doesn't take textures directly, but instead takes the RGB pixel value in the base color. This sample texture 2D node, among other things, helps you convert your texture to RGBA values. Let's save this and see how it looks. To try it out, we are going to create a new material and in the shader dropdown, select scale shader. We can drop our texture in the base texture slot and add the material to our quad. As of now, it looks the same as our previous material and this scale parameter does absolutely nothing. Let's fix this. To scale our texture, we are going to need a tiling and offset node. We can connect the output of this to the UV input in our sample texture 2D. What this does is, it defines how many times our texture is going to be tiled or repeated. If we save this and go back, we can see that we can zoom in and zoom out our texture but it's not very intuitive yet. So let's go back and fix that. What we need is for our scale parameter to correspond to the scale of the texture and not the tiling. Logically, if our texture tiles twice, the scale will be half. And if the scale is twice, it's going to tile only half a time. We can define this inverse relationship by dividing 1 by our scale parameter. Let's rearrange our nodes a bit. You see this pink output is due to division by 0 error we have right now. We can quickly fix this by selecting scale parameter and going into graph inspector and changing the default value to 1. Let's save this and go to scene view and check our progress. Scaling makes way more sense now, but we still have a problem. Most of the times we don't want to scale our texture from the bottom left point, which is the point of origin in our UV map. What we usually want to do is scale our texture center outwards. We can do that by fixing the offset for our sample texture 2D. Let's create a new vector to parameter and connect it to the offset input of our tiling and offset node. If we save this and go back and let's change our scale. We can now center our texture manually, but the problem still persists. Every time I change the scale here, I have to fix the offset again. What we need to do is calculate the offset automatically based on our scale. Let's delete the offset first. Now we are going to take the output of our divide node which is the tiling value and divide it by minus 2 and add 0.5 to it. What this does is if our tiling is 0.5 which corresponds to a scale of 2 then it moves the offset to 0.25 on x and 0.25 on y which is the center of the texture now. We can save and go back to check it out. And now whenever we scale our texture, it scales center outwards. One last thing we want to add is the ability to change the anchor point manually. For this, we go back to our shader graph. Let's make some space here and bring in our offset node. Let's add it to the output of our add node using another add node and then pass it to the offset input of the tiling and offset node. 
we save again and go back and now we have the ability to define custom offset points for our texture to scale from with the default being the center. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Consider liking the video if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thank you.